Let us help you simplify your payroll processing, ensure compliance, and receive the perfect paycheck every time. Our payroll engine is designed to simplify your entire payroll process, ensuring accuracy by reducing payroll errors and by providing in-depth reporting on your payroll data. With this tool, you can also empower your employees to access all of their payroll information, including their pay stubs and W-2s, quickly and easily from any device. Let's begin by taking a look at how you would be able to process your payroll within this solution. Here on your payroll dashboard, you can create functional charts to drill down into your payroll information. And keep in mind that you can determine what reporting and metrics you would like to have available right here at your fingertips, which can then be displayed here on your dashboard. In this example, you could have a chart showing you insights into your payroll trends over a period of time. You could also have a chart that is breaking down labor distribution across various cost centers within your organization. In addition, you can also use this payroll report to easily see which payrolls need to be processed directly from your dashboard. And right from this payroll report, you can kick off your payroll processing. As you can see, the payroll processing screen is logically laid out to define every step of the process in a checklist format outlining a clear, easy process for the administrator to follow. Now, the first step in this checklist is allowing you to run a payroll pre-check report. This information can be accessed at any time throughout the pay period, allowing the payroll administrator to proactively review and manage any payroll updates in advance. This will highlight any changes to scheduled earnings, new base compensation records, new hire information, etc. The next step in the process directs you to the time prep review. This allows you to view all of the timekeeping data to make sure that it's ready for payroll processing. Here you can process historical timesheet changes, such as updating hours on a previously processed timesheet, or you can manage retro pay calculations. Now, as part of this process, you will be prompted to verify that all of your time off requests and timesheets have been approved. This is also where you will process your time records and ensure that there aren't any errors being flagged before moving these hours into payroll. And then once this process has been completed, you can easily get back to your payroll processing screen. Back on your payroll checklist, you are then asked to initiate your payroll. Initiating the payroll will create all of the pay statements for the employees assigned to this particular payroll that you are processing. Next, you can move forward with syncing your time, which will pull all of the timekeeping data into your pay statements so you can begin reviewing your payroll data. And the easiest way to review your payroll data is through the batch entry screen. So let's take a look at our batch. As you can see, this batch entry screen is used to review the payroll data across all employees from one screen. And if necessary, you can make manual overrides to the pay statements directly from this report. Now, as we are editing this data, there are checks and balances in place to prevent overpayments. So payroll alerts can be set up globally or on an individual basis using effective dating. And these alerts will require a sign off to ensure that nothing gets overlooked during the payroll process. A global alert might be set up to flag when an employee is being paid over a certain dollar amount, while an individual alert would be set up as a reminder to a user of something that needs to be done on that particular payroll. Now, right from this batch, you can identify if there is a payroll alert when this notepad icon is displayed. So to view the alert, we will simply click here on the icon. And in this case, this is an individual alert that has been set up as a reminder to enter a bonus for this employee. And you will notice that this does require sign off. Without signing off on this alert, we will not be able to submit our payroll for finalization. So that said, let's sign off on this alert now, and then we can enter the bonus into our batch. To enter this bonus, we can keep the bonus on the same pay statement as the regular earnings, and the system will tax the regular earnings at the regular tax rate 
while it taxes the bonus at the supplemental tax rate, allowing you to keep everything on one check. Or you have the option of creating a second check for this bonus. Here on the second line for this employee, we can enter the bonus here in the bonus column. Then you will need to change the pay statement type to reflect the second check. So let's change this pay statement type to a bonus check. Now keep in mind that you can set up different rules for these different pay statement types. So for example, when you pay out a bonus check, maybe you want to block all deductions and issue the pay statement as a live check. Once ready, you will want to save and update your payroll to save the changes that we just made. As the batch is saved and updated, the payroll calculations are being applied in real time, so you can review those pay statements and run any payroll reports without the need for the traditional pre-process. So if we take a look at the pay statement that we just created, you will notice that this has not been finalized. You will also notice the bonus that we just added for this employee is now appearing here on the pay statement. And then from here, you will be able to see how the bonus will affect the taxes, which are being calculated in real time. Our system uses geospatial technology to determine what taxes should be applied. It's going to look at where the employees work and where the employees live to determine the appropriate taxes and it is intuitive enough to calculate down to the local taxes as well as considering the reciprocity agreements between states regarding taxes. This means you do not need to worry about assigning tax codes to your employees because the system automatically applies the appropriate taxes for each employee during the payroll process. Now once everything is reviewed and ready to go, you can close your batch and head back out to your payroll checklist. Next, we have the Add Edit Pay Statement step. This will allow you to view the payroll data on an individual basis rather than reviewing all of the employee pay statements on one screen as we saw within the batch. Then you need to make sure that you have reviewed all of your payroll alerts before you can close and submit your payroll. Now, because our payroll alert has already been taken care of, we can move forward with closing our payroll. Now, if there are any errors associated with these pay statements, they would be flagged here in this step. Now, at any time during the payroll process, you have access to your payroll reports. So let's take a look at some of the more commonly used payroll reports. We will begin by taking a look at our payroll register. The information on this payroll register is pulling from the payroll in its current state. Remember, you could look at this report even before the payroll has been closed, and you will see all of the calculations happening in real time for each pay statement. Now let's take a quick look at the general ledger summary. Keep in mind that the GL can be formatted based upon your accounting software specifications, and there are several different export formats available for your GL, including Excel or QuickBooks. Next, I'd like to take a look at the payroll recap and funding report. Here you can see an overview of the entire payroll including the number of paid employees. You can also see the total check amount and the total direct deposit amount. You can check out your tax liabilities, your vendor payments, and your cash requirements. This report also includes a high-level GL summary and a couple of payroll comparison reports. So as you can see, there are many different payroll reports that you can review, including some reports that will help with auditing your payroll. For example, you have access to an employees not paid report, a master data change report, 
and a manual edits audit report. Now, probably the most impactful audit report is the payroll comparison report. This report provides a high level comparison from the previous pay period. It is highlighting where there are any variances in your payroll data, and you can drill down into these variances directly from this screen to get more information. So as you can see, this is a great tool to help with auditing your payrolls. After the payroll has been reviewed and closed, then the payroll can be submitted for finalization and delivery. Now, employees can also access their historical payroll data from within their employee self-service portal, which is conveniently available on any device. Right on their dashboard, they all have access to all of their historical payroll data. And with this personalized solution, they are provided a countdown to their next payday along with their next check date. Employees have access to all of their historical payroll data right from this screen. Here they can see a high level view of their pay statement details. And if they wanted to view the actual pay statement, they could simply click on the pay statement button. And this will give the employees access to view their pay stub, which will display all of their earnings, their taxes withheld, and their benefit deductions. Also, given that this system operates off of a single database, the employees will have access to their timesheet details and their accrual balances as well. In addition, employees can also download a copy of their pay stub right from here if needed. Also, right from this same payroll tile, your employees will have access to the Predict My Pay tool. This tool will calculate an employee's anticipated payroll changes to see how those updates will impact their next paycheck. Across the top of the screen, an employee can see the details of their last finalized pay statement. And below, they are able to make adjustments to their compensation, their federal or state withholdings, overtime or additional earnings, and their deductions, such as making changes to their 401k contributions. So if an employee just received a promotion and wanted to see how their increase will impact their take-home pay, they can increase their hourly rates and then recalculate their pay. Now across the top of the screen, we can see how that increase will impact their paycheck once those adjustments have gone into effect. Again, using this same payroll tile, your employees can also view and update their direct deposit information. They can also access all of their historical W-2 forms. Now your employees can have the option to consent to receive their W-2s electronically. And after signing the consent, they would be notified when their W-2 is ready for review. As you can see, all of their historical W-2s are easily accessible right from their dashboard with just a click of a button. And from here, they have instant access to view and download their W-2, so they have this information available when filing their tax returns. And if there are any corrections that need to be made to the W-2 after the year has been closed, you can perform a year-end correction payroll to create the W-2C forms to be distributed to your employees. And finally, we can also check out the total compensation statement right from the dashboard. By default, we are looking at the current year-to-date compensation statement. However, employees can also choose to compare compensation history year over year. While the compensation statement is embedded into the solution, employees can also download a copy of their total comp statement for their own personal records. So here an employee will see their total compensation package for the year, including both direct and indirect compensation. As you can see, this highlights the value of the employee's compensation package, including cash compensation, employer contributions to their benefits, and any additional perks that the employees may have received. As you can see, our employee self-service portal will provide your employees quick access to all of their payroll information from one centralized location.